E aí pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aí no canal é, No vídeo de hoje a gente vai estar jogando a nossa terceira partida da liga Do NBA é, 2020 E lembrando que teve vídeo ontem que eu coloquei no canal Da segunda partida E foi um vídeo que foi aprovado o fone, digamos, sabe? Ficou muito bom na questão de de áudio do jogo e e o, o meu áudio entendeu e agora nós vamos estar jogando a segunda parte a terceira partida da nossa liga e vamos em busca da nossa terceira vitória beleza pessoal então não esqueça de deixar seu like aí no canal e se inscrever tá Eu ainda vou tentar abrir live para vocês hoje à noite então não percam beleza é, eu vou abrindo aqui o jogo, pessoal, sem mais delongas, né? Nossa próxima partida vai ser contra os Knicks. A gente ganhar a partida contra os Raptors e contra os. 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 como é? 76ers. Então. Nossa partida aqui vai ser fora de casa. We've been talking so much NBA 2K21, but we wanted to stop and take a moment to thank you guys for tuning in and joining us for 45 episodes in NBA 2K20. We've had so much fun connecting with you all over this past season. Bora lá, bora, so, bora pro jogo. A subway system in Manhattan, part of the experience here in New York. Caraca, eles perderam os dois jogos e a gente ganhou os dois. Espero que a gente não seja a primeira vitória deles, né? Nossos próximos jogos contra os Bucks, os Knicks de novo. Knicks. David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Guys, Celtics coach Brad Stevens is known for his play calling. LeBron James said he has so many different wrinkles. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. He'll run something you've never seen before. But Stevens said, honest to God, I've stolen everything we've ever done from somebody else. Kevin? <laughs> I love his honesty. All right, thank you, DA. Looking at the long season ahead, Brent, as a veteran player, what are some of the habits that keep your body going strong, staying healthy? Teams have really gotten hip to the idea that we need to rest our, our star players as much as possible. So efficiency with the work okay. that they do, I think, is the most important thing. Star guys are getting to practice and are on the court for 50 minutes to an hour every day so that there's a rhythm that they can keep and the teammates can keep up along with them on the floor. That, that's what's about for those guys. Maintenance, Beleza. maintenance, maintenance. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. Rucker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Tice in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Knicks, it's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Barrett is out there with Alfred Payton and it's heartless in the middle of the game. He's really an advanced player. He's really an advanced player. And Hayward at the stuff. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely great. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Peyton can't get it to go. Beleza, the Boston, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. 
Hayward goes in, lays it up off the glass. How about three or four from the floor to start? Beleza, começamos o jogo bem. Mantendo esse ritmo. Peyton against Walker. Vai longe. Mando passes to Harkins. Mas eu roubo, hein? Faz a marcação, faz a marcação. Beleza, 5 segundinhos. Vai ter que jogar. Nossa bola. Beleza. Os Celtics foram 3 ou 4 do campo para começar o jogo. Walker, o passe para Tice. Out to Hayward, but Trey, and again Boston with the triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It's a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They could use a big shot here. Time out, time out. Está passando mal, está passando mal. Empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And so New York calls time out. Their first, first chance of the season for them to go up against this Celtics team. Two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. And guys, this first meeting always sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the season series will play out. For teams that know each other this well, this initial game is a big one. Bora lá. Whiteside Robinson. And it's Jason Tatum. Não, não precisa fazer falta disso. That's his first foul. Marcação, ele vai fazer o giro. Conseguiu arremessar ainda, hein? Caraca, foi quase, hein? Bora lá, bora lá, Walker. Bora fazer a play, hein? You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Yeah, massive relief there. Getting a little bit frustrating for them until that bucket. Now here's Tatum, following the miss by Kemba Walker. Good on the shot. Defensively, giving up too many open looks. Good on the shot. Defensively, giving up too many open looks. Good on the shot. Defensively, giving up too many open looks. Good on the shot. For New York, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter, and five straight triple doubles last season for Alfred Payton, showing his all-around impact. Amazing with his size. Era para ser de três pontos aqui, era para ser na linha. That he has that kind of versatility. That's some lofty company. I mean, five straight triple doubles. What an amazing run by E. P. Here's Tatum, following the basket by Alfred Payton. Nice pass there to set that basket up. At the elbow, it's Barrett. Bora, bro. Bora, bro. É tu. He feeds it to Harkless. Boa, fez o bloqueio. Nice. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. And he comes up with the deuce. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Caraca, mano. And here are the Knicks now. Estamos jogando, hein? Estamos jogando, hein? We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Harkless, the pass to Payton. What a Walker, 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 Walker. The floater. Here's Robinson, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Walker. A shot by Hayward, wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time for Walker. They're getting a lot of their points. Estamos conseguindo marcar bons pontos, mano. Estamos conseguindo marcar bons pontos. Three of the last five baskets are from three-point range. Você está pegando os jogos de boa até. Randall against Tatum. Faz a marcação. Faz a marcação, Tito. Randall kicks to Harkless. Oito segundinhos. Sem fazer falta. Sem fazer falta. Cinco segundos. Ele vai ter que jogar agora. Nossa bola. Second violation. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. Fifth on the list, the Celtics. And this team, in terms of scoring off the turnovers, that that became the identity. I mean, they really looked to disrupt. O Jerry Tamal foi. Foi, acho que foi. 
and boy, do they take advantage on the other end. So the Celtics called timeout their first. Big man who was forgotten about during free agency. Randall could be an impact player for the Knicks. The Knicks missed out on the marquee names they were after, but Randall should give them great production for quite some time. Not a huge name, but a young talent that can help this team. So New York ends up going with the new group, and a new group in for the Celtics. Cantor checked in for Daniel Tice. Williams comes in for Gordon Hayward. Marcus Smart's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Walker. Tatum Ooh, shot is up. Knicks trail by 14. Ai, mano, batendo nas minhas costas, mano. boa. Good season for him last year. 14th in rebounding, and he was in the top 20 in the percentage, able to create offense for a tremendous efficiency. talked about how strong he was on the board, going hard-headed at both ends last year, really helping out his team. It was a season of rebuilding, and Damian Dodson was certainly a bright spot for the Knicks, a guy that just loves to let it fly, and he found his way into some minutes after some roster turnover. It made the best of his chances for Coach Fisdale. No, 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 Here's Dotson trying to get open as Gibson. Dotson can't hit. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's the aggressive attitude nice. defensively. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that Tamo category. Muito, mano. Tamo Ball movement has muito. been flawless. Fazendo uma marcação Here perfeita. Quase perfeita, né? Que se fosse perfeita, a gente não teria marcado. Mas... Working on the inside, Taj Gibson goes to it. Tremendous at imposing his will down there. Wanamaker looking over the floor. In the corner. Tatum with it. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Wanamaker. For three. Knicks with the rebound. On the wing, Ellington. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Uh, first point guard, Neil Aquino, with a nice play there. Wanamaker, the pass to Cantor. Again, the Celtics Nossa. good for two. Displaying intensity Nossa, right bolinha. off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, yeah, he he walked in at any point oh. during this game to nice, watch five nice. minutes play. Tempo, one one team boa vantage. played harder. We know who that was. And so it's Boston, finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Nice, man. Primeiro tempo. Foi perfeito, man. Bobby Portis, who's known for his work ethic, said he learned a lot from his mother. She gets up at 3, 4 in the morning and gets off at 1, 2 in the evening, you know, she works hard for four boys, you know, she breaks herself off daily, you know, I always try to pride myself in hard work also because how hard she worked for me. And she was a basketball player in her own right, Greg, a scholarship at Jackson State University. Yeah, and gave up basketball when she had Bobby, but she encouraged him to pursue his dream, and she said now she's living her dream through him. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a very convincing performance from the Celtics so far. Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. We've got Bobby Portis. Milikina out there with Wayne Ellington. Then it's Taj Gibson. And it's Dotson in at the small forward position. There the group New York will start the second. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Wanamaker, good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his third assist on the night. With social media, extended TV coverage, lots of distractions for these players, Brent. But uh, but some do a terrific job of, of walking all the I think the roles and responsibilities of teams is, is changing around exactly what you're talking about, Kevin. You have to have 
people within your organization to help these players understand where it is that they have to Exigido. focus most. And that is your job on the floor. And so really good organizations are, are educating the players on that. They're not just relying on the agents or outside sources. Uh, teams are trying to get in there and impact guys at a young age Ooh, to make sure that, uh, as you said, that noise is not part of, of their beginning part of their career. He's a fault. Uh, hey, we've got an update bin. here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, before he became a head coach in Memphis and New York, he was primeiro. spent eight seasons as an agora, assistant agora, fuca, under fuca, Eric Spolster in fuca, Miami. Fuca. Now, Spo said he's a brilliant basketball mind that has exceptional gold Mora standard walk. level Mora communication walk. skills. One of the most As talented coaches I've As been around. Jogo, okay. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. Knicks trailed by 18. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Robinson passes to Dotson. That shot is off. Awesome. Some solid defense from Brown. Walker dishes to Williams. Muito marcado, muito marcado, muito marcado. Three pointer, Hayward. No good there. And New York the other way now. Marcado, and for those marcado. of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Okay. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And here's Brown outside. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists now in this one. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Here's Barrett, and the shot is long. Celtics leading by 21. Mm, One of the bigger names on the free agent market this past year, Willis. Kemba Walker. Pitch. And it didn't take long for him to land with Boston to replace Kyrie. Hornets made an attempt, but offered well below Kemba's value. Mm, I think Kemba's going to be a great fit uh, in Boston. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. That's it is. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. A different look for New York. Julius Randle's checked in for Portis. Harkless comes in for spring. Damian Dotson. And it's Peyton in for Neil Aquina. The Celtics also changing it up. Daniel Tice comes in for Robert Williams. And it's Williams in for Smart. Here's Randle, and it's tonight. Nice. Hayward goes in, and it's in there. Hayward's got 12 points in the game. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right muito. now for all of the mistakes they're making. Peyton kicks to Robinson. Randall right side. Ela vai fazer o giro. No. And it's good, two nice. points. Well, Randall finding out some creative ways how to score on the inside, becoming smarter and more adept at doing so. Walker against Peyton, and the call will be against hum, foul, man. Man. Qual foi, man? That's his first foul. Here's Walker. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. Jacks up a three, hands it from downtown. Tice has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. It drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Basket by Peyton. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now a timeout called by Boston. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Yep, made the defense work extremely hard and did a nice job of getting any advantage they could against the team that shot it well. Walker goes in, and there are the Celtics with another basket. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Robinson finds Peyton. Here's Randall, guarded by Walker. Nice, he's a bloqueio. Oh, man. Oh, William. Oh, William. 
for the Knicks. Taj Gibson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. And Ellington is subbed in for Barrett. Sub and the Celtics also Fion. making a change. Brad Wanamaker's checked in for Kemba Walker. Jogando muito, mano. Jogando muito. Here's Peyton. Ellington trying to free himself up. Peyton can't get it to go. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Takes the assist and brings it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Saw the opportunity, did Alfred Peyton and inside capitalized. The kick out to Williams. Back to Wanamaker. Shot clock at six. There's the three. Randall grabs the board. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Peyton outside. Seis segundos ele vai ter que jogar. Goes up and scores. Doesn't go for him. And so it's Boston holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We've got more in store for you right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Gordon team. Hayward wasting no time getting hot. He had 12 points and one rebound. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, we saw the versatility of Gordon Hayward. He could initiate, he can finish, and a high basketball IQ. You could see that tonight, and he returned to the pre-injury form. Chat, what did you think about New York? The field goal percentage reminds me of Kenny's breath. Brutal. Not reading the defense, not getting enough quality looks. They need to make major changes because the system they ran in the first half was not working. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away. Beleza, mano. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Really an incredible game from Gordon Hayward. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Tucker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Hayward at small forward, but Tatum at the four. Ah, in at the center. The Knicks oh, the ball ball, just 28%. And Greg talking to scouts about RJ Barrett. They nice, the man, nice. It's one for the What makes him especially good is the work ethic and the confidence. Yes, yeah, some elite prospects will, will take plays off. This guy never does. He's not one that sits around and reads his press clippings. He's a warrior, a leader, and, and he's proven to be a winner. The kick out to Brown. Back to Tatum. Celtics passing it around. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Three pointer. Hayward. Randall grabs the board. Não consegui, man. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Jump ball, man. Jump ball. So it's ah, Boston now. Conseguiram ficar. Knicks trail by 20. A ball, eh? Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Down low. And that one goes out of bounds. Que? That deles That's a bola Tatum. como assim? A moment here to see some stats for Robinson. How he performed last season. He was around seven points per. Almost two Saca and a half na bola, and six rebounds. You know, year one, he was learning the ropes. I think he's hoping to make a much bigger impact in his second campaign. Absolutely. As a rookie, the game just goes incredibly fast. Sophomore year, things start to slow down. And a breakout season for Julius Randle in 2018-19. Averaged close to 20 and 10. Delivering on the talent that saw him taking seventh overall back in 2014. 
Greg, the Lakers allowed Julius Randle to leave in restricted free agency in 2018 so they could preserve some of their caps. I mean, oh, I got to go ahead. Still man. lags behind, but offensively, boy, he is special. The lefty, tough to deal with inside. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, we all know that circumstances fake, man. He he to play. Play. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going to be the cornerstone. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed. The promising point guard was traded to the Knicks. And Smith said it was important. It's a big opportunity, and I've just got to make the most of it. But Kevin, we know one thing in New York. The ball is back in Smith's hands. And D.A., that's when he is at his best. Thank you. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. There's a lot of talk, Brent, about eliminating division, something that's been discussed. I think that's going to happen. I, I don't understand what the divisions are. Oh, no. I, we don't pay attention to the divisions. We don't pay any attention to the divisions. It's all about and numbers. we know that the divisions end up helping with, in some ways with the, the playoff seedings, but it just seems strange today to have the divisions the way they are divided up. I think it helps when you're opening up a fish trap in the morning if you check, if you check a traditional newspaper, but otherwise, I think it'd be something that goes away soon. And Wait, hold on. got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Williams passes to Tatum. No good on the three. For New York, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. Dotson in the corner mm, from polivre. outside the arc. Dotson's got six. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Good. And that's now nine points for Walker. Right around three minutes into the second half. Bom, já começaram a fazer a marcação dupla em cima do Walker. Smart. Drops in the breakaway layup. Terrific steal. Smart doesn't take a lot of chances, but knows when to pick his spot. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for New York. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And finished off by Robinson. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite Lord, pass to set up the powerful alley oop dunk. The kick out to Williams. Fires for three. The mm, shot is in. And same. New York the other way now. Pass to Portis. Acertou. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Acertou, man. Acertou, Portis has got his first bucket of the night. Nilakina showing his role right there as a distribution player. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And the former Razorback, Bobby Portis, took a few years to find his spot in the NBA. But now he does produce. And, and great big man to bring in off the bench. Good size and quickness combination. And will always give you scoring with that second unit. So for the Knicks, Gibson comes in for Robinson. And Ellington is subbed in for Barrett. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Brad Wanamaker comes in for Walker. Yep, that one goes. That's 12 points for Jason Tatum. Shifty, elusive offensively. Tatum's scoring potential is through the roof. And stolen by Tatum. And Tatum with a clear path to the hoop. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. Sixty-seven percent shooting. Jason tá jogando muito, mano. Tá roubando, tá marcando de dois, de três, tá fazendo bloco. Caramba ele, mano. Boston leaden by 23. And Wanamaker has it in the corner. Misses the three. For New York, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat Boa, out miss. Boa, falta, ainda consegui marcar. That's three of their last five baskets. Mais um arremesso para mim, mano. Mais um arremesso. He's checked in for New York. Tons and tons of playing time to be had in New York for Coach Fizdale. Second round players, second chance players. A lot of these guys are going to get their shot. Of course, RG Barrett, the guy they're going to lean on most nice. to see what he's capable of doing and how quickly he can learn. But the Knicks have a ton of developing to do this year. Passes to Portis. 
Back to Peyton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Peyton's got eight points. One maker, one number. Very crisply here. Here's Wanamaker, covered by Peyton. That one falls. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Knicks have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. The pass to Gibson. Nice D from Williams. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. The Celtics have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. Harkless comes in for Damian Dotson. Then for the Celtics, Daniel Tice is checked in for Robert Williams. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Jason Tatum. Now Peyton, eight points for him. Here's Randall Williams with the block. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Two on the clock. Can't get it to fall. Ah, it's tempted to mark it, but I think the pressure is not there. But the minimum is the time to advantage. Very well. And so it's Boston, having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. Tamo jogando muito, mano. Tamo jogando muito, mano. Quase certo da gente sair com essa partida com vitória. Só se os caras começaram a acertar tudo, mano. Aí sim, mas... É nossa essa partida, mano. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feed. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Wayne Ellington. Julius Randle is out there with Knox. Then it's Dennis Smith. And it's Bullock in at the three spot. That's the five for New York right now. Oh, and nossa so bola, it looks man. like the Celtics will retain possession here. Nossa bola, man. Ball stolen. Mm. And now it's Ellington running. He's going to go all the way. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Ellington's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Knicks. Here's uma cama de três ali. Aposto que arremesso não é o forte desse cara, hein? So creative on offense, Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball. Levanta o Marsh ali no lado já. Specific possession. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another, Greg. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. They kick it out to Green. Back to Wanamaker. Tice passes to Green. Now, here's Tice. Six to shoot. Wanamaker. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, uh, you know, no they're no in the no lead, but no he's no still no frustrated no from an offensive Opa. standpoint. Opa. It's Opa. stolen Opa. by Green. But Wanamaker. And Wanamaker gets it to go. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Edwards against Smith. Pass to Ellington. You know, Brent, how candid can players be in their answers in the post-game interviews about what has happened or what they're Bora, feeling William. at that time? Bora, the William. Is there a danger being too honest as a player? There could be, Kevin. I mean, nice. anytime you express some of your vulnerability, and if it's done at the right come time, come on, come on. somebody's going to take advantage baixo. of it. What we've seen over the past couple years is forget about when it is that the, the media nice. is asking the questions. Most players are, are taking it 
to their social media accounts where they're able to get the message out without being baited by somebody with regards to a question. They can expound on whatever it is that they're feeling at that time, and that helps them to, to control the messaging a little bit more. And I think that trend is, is going to continue and continue to grow. Wanamaker, the pass to Tice. He kicks it to Green. Up top, Edwards, covered by Smith. Edwards can't hit. And that's why he's not a top option for them right now offensively. They still cannot trust him, even on those easy shots. Smith dishes to Randall. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And that's now nine points for Julius Randall. Maybe the halftime break was good for him, allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Wanamaker misses. Shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Smith kicks to Bullock. The 11-footer. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside green. Passes it to Edwards. Here's Wanamaker. Nice form on the 20-footer. Wanamaker's got six in the quarter. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Knicks. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Two free throws coming mm, Wanamaker up. Wanamaker, he's a foul. Friend, a lot of teams will be paying that luxury tax. And uh, and that that is a tough thing for a lot of owners fuka, as well. Fuka, fuka, is this the best fuka, fuka, method fuka, fuka. to oh, deter oh, teams from going I over the cap? I have to ask and out, and out spending smaller markets. You're hitting the nail on the head, yeah, yeah. Kevin, because there are some teams, <laughs> as much as you said it's tough for some teams to swallow, there are other teams that never see that pill. Right. And they're willing to go as far as they need to go in order to, to put a championship team on the floor. Um, it mm -hmm. seems to be working, but the question you had for me, was it a deterrent? Right now, I don't know if it's, but... if it's as significant as it needs to be. We know the repeater tax certainly uh, hurts some teams, but there are still teams that are willing to spend, Kevin, who want to avoid that at all costs. Oh, that's just an emphatic throw down there. That one reverberated throughout the building. Edwards passes to Green. No one near him. Oh, sem marcação é essa, mano. Dá pra ter feito essa, hein? Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, nice. it's obvious it's for everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Celtics. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, uh, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And ever win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jason Tatum. He was extremely efficient offensively. Foul, man. Looks, okay, he he's really man. knocked down big shots all game long. Clearly a foul. Mm. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Dois, dois shots. Bora lá. Mm. Free throw good, Edward. Dotson's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Bora lá, bora lá, bora lá. Dois. He doesn't get the second. Não foi, hein? I think Mitchell Robinson is one of those guys who saw last year. Coisa, he might get four or five blocks a game. So many players tempted to shoot Fique outside boa. shots Fique because boa. Mitchell would play off of them and then quickly he would get to them and deflect the Fique shots. Boa. So incredible quick twitch fibers and quick to the ball to make an impact defensively. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they gotta be happy with the outcome. Nossa, and so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. If you love the pressure he's putting on them, almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's gonna pay some dividends. At some point, there's gonna be a turnover. There's the pass to Canner. Ball is not loose. Hey. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. 
10 hum. segundinhos, será que eles vão querer marcar mais um ponto? Bom, vou marcar aqui, Não, mano, eles. Não vou deixar eles chegarem perto pra eles jogarem. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, very nice win for you guys tonight. You know, just proud of the way we fought. We thought we shared the basketball pretty well tonight. Played pretty solid defense as well. Um, got the win, so. Great effort tonight, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Bom, foi um bom jogo, mano. Foi um bom jogo. Conseguimos sair com a nossa terceira vitória. Perfeito, mano. Perfeito. Nossa próxima partida vai ser contra os Bucks. Vai ser uma partida em casa. Bora ver aqui. Na mídia. Bom, eles estavam falando aqui que grande surpresa, os Knicks perderam de novo. Bom, os Knicks perderam para os Magics, estão com uma sequência de 5 derrotas seguidas, mano. Hum, hum. Bom, bora ver aqui. Hum. Nós estamos com três vitórias e vamos jogar mais uma agora. O time do Miami Heat e dos Nets, seguido por Philadelphia e Orlando Magic, estão com três vitórias e uma derrota. Bora ver aqui, os Bucks estão vindo em busca da sua segunda vitória. Só os Knicks perderam. Cinco jogos seguidos, mano. Deixa eu ver aqui no... O World está com três. Certo. Caraca. O Jazz tá com... Tá meio triste, hein? Estamos em primeiro da nossa colocação, então, né? Bora salvar. Bom pessoal, esse foi mais um vídeo de hoje, espero que vocês tenham curtido a partida, não esqueçam de deixar seu like e se inscrever no canal, e felizmente a gente saiu com a nossa terceira vitória aqui, e é isso pessoal, é, vou tentar abrir a live para vocês hoje à noite, a partir das 10 horas, e espero que curtam o vídeo pessoal, até a próxima, fui!